What up, boys? We're back on the subscriber-only franchise, man, in Week 10 after a dominant win in Week 9 in the Game of the Week. We're taking on the Chicago Bears again in Valkyrie Sky, my boy, man. It is a rematch for the ages, man, and I know he's going to bring his best game trying to get revenge on us after we got the big win in Week number 7, I believe. So, Nothing else to take care of, man. We already took care of the weekly strategy. We got no really big upgrades, so it's just game time. We still have not gotten... He's inviting us right now, but still haven't gotten a breakout challenge for Gibbs, who's been going ballistic, man. So I don't know what else we have to do. If we have another big game this week, we could potentially have a breakout next week, but we do take on the Tennessee Titans next week, who just upset... Pretend upset. They have the same record, but upset the... Texans who we had a dog fight with in week number two and ended up winning that game It's gonna be a tough game in week 11 and I expect that to be game of the week as well So without further ado, man, let's get right into it Chicago Bears Lions. Can we complete the sweep of our NFC North rival? Let's get right into it, baby. Let's go. All right, boys. It's week number 10 back at Ford Field We're taking on the Chicago Bears again, man and I'm ready. We're kicking off, coming back out on defense first, and hoping that we can get the job done with a couple of new faces on our defense we forgot to go over in the beginning of the game. But we made some changes to the corner room. I'll just give you the fill-in right now, man. We released Emmanuel Mosley and Amik Robertson, and we signed Kobe Durant and Kalon Barnes. Kobe Durant, 93 speed. Kalon Barnes, uh, 97 speed he will be playing the second slot corner slot for us and hopefully that adds some much needed speed to this defense let's get into it baby let's go run play yep right off the rip I'm expecting a lot of running from him like I said read option Hutch what a shed and makes the tackle at the line of scrimmage Oh, that's a big run. That's a big run. What a tackle. Kalon Barnes, 97 speed, blitzing off the edge. Let's see what happens here. Come on. Come on. Oh, good coverage on the outside by Carlton Davis. Run. We need better sheds from our DTs up front. Like, we've got to be able to reach and get him there. And we'll give up the I'd rather give up the pass than allow him to just run all the way down the football field Go get him go get him baby. What a send there, buddy. What a big-time sender there Big-time pickup It's a big-time pickup. We're not there couple of fourth down conversions now Oh my god, we missed the tackle Got pressure, flying in, doesn't get there, man. That's brutal. That's brutal. Oh, what a shed, and we can't get there. What a shed by DeGene, and he's just spinning, looking for the ball carrier. My controller's freaking out, too. The fuck is going on here in Detroit? Remember, he scored on the first drive last game, but this is a pretty damn good start for the Bears right now. Big time knockout by Brian Branch. Holy smokes. We're all over it. Good shit, Hutch. That's me! User cookies, Brian Branch! Let's go! We got crazy goal line D. And that's a user pick. Come on! The defense continues to show up. We do give up yardage, but the number... We are a top three scoring defense in the league for a reason. For a reason, because we always find a way to shut teams out of the end zone. Got Gibbs. Broken tackle, Jameer Gibbs. Play action. Let's go, laser beam. Blocks from A.D. Mitchell here. Jukes. Amon-Ra. It's three for three for Howell. Big time blocks here. Pick up a block. Gibbs to the three. 
And that is the end of the first quarter. We're knocking on the door, baby. Let's let's answer the call. Got him. Touchdown, ASB! The Sun God with another touchdown. The Lions are on the board, baby. The RPO works to perfection. Slot corner comes down. And it's Amon Ross St. Brown to the end zone. Lions are up 7-0. Let's go, baby. Fun play here. Work through. DJ Reader able to get hands, but Swift is just so good at breaking tackles, man. Run play here. I'm all over it. We're able to get inches, actually. Oh, we're all over it. Strazon Newton power bombs him into the turf. This rookie just finds a way to come up clutch sometimes, man. And he's going to punt it on fourth and three. Audible this weak side here. Going left. Pick up a block. Jukes from Gibbs. And able to pick up eight yards. Run this here, north south, pick up a block. What is it? Look at this stick. I need Ragnar to pick him up. Please. Got Laporta. It's short. We're able to moss it though. It's so <laughs> it could have been undercut there. We're able to we're able to ag catch it, but I really thought that was gonna be intercepted. Come on! We fit it in the gap. Laser beam and Amon Ross St. Brown touchdown. He couldn't get there in time. What a missile by Howell. He almost got there. There was a chance for that to be picked off, but Amon Ra, I mean, what are you going to do? This is one of the most sure handed receivers in the NFL. Doesn't drop many passes. That's 14 0 and two more passing touchdowns for Howell. Let's go, baby. We're dialed the fuck in. That's me, Chin Cookies, user pick to the end zone, touchdown, pick six, Jeremy Chin, get this guy a breakout, please. Oh, that's a good throw, what a laser beam, good throw, buddy. Why did he not go out of bounds, did his controller die? Run play, run play? Kalon Barnes with the tackle. That's intercepted. Keely Ringo all over that. Late read, and we got it again. Another one for your Lions defense. Wow, good swat. If we wait a little bit longer, JMO's wide open for a touchdown. We have JMO here. Here we go. There's A.D. Mitchell getting involved on the sideline and gets out of bounds. Could Howell have speed here? He can't. All right, he can't. <laughs> he can't. He's so close. We've got A.D. Mitchell for the touchdown over the middle, and we don't have the protection. Dude, we've got A.D. Mitchell again. A.D. Mitchell again on the left side. Protection gives up. And what the hell? That guy's helmet was half off his head. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Perfect time kick. Let's go. Going to halftime up 24-0. And we get the football. Walks around the edge. We pick him up. He's going to go out. There's a guy right behind us. I don't want to get stripped. Big time blocks. Pancakes for Ragnow again. And it's another one, seven for 72 for Jameer Gibbs. The league is trying to figure out how to shut down Jameer Gibbs. They can't do it. They can't do it. Our offensive line is unbelievable. Frank Ragnow is just pancaking guys left and right. And we're, safety's coming down. I'm gonna actually audible out of this and I'm gonna go tight end attack. We got Laporta, and he's going to have a touchdown. Laporta to the end zone. All the way. Touchdown. What an audible by yours truly. We punch it in with just a minute four off the clock, and it is now 31-0, baby. Let's go. 
Dude, run play here. Oh, man. I'm all over it, baby. And still, <laughs> DeGene gets him a couple extra yards. He's still having good success running the football. Nine for 50. But then again, I mean, game script really dependent now. He doesn't really have the ability to run the football. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Expecting a tight end drag here. It's a pitch. It's a pitch. We get to absolutely spawn. <laughs> Valkyrie, what a play, bro. <laughs> we went airborne, and bro hit us with the spin cycle. Still looking for my laundry back there. Holy smokes, bro. What a play. That's, that's, intercept. Oh, bro, just dropped a pick. Oh, Hutch. Hutch! What a TFL. Four receivers on the right. What is this? What is this? Oh, man. Good stuff. What a juke! Oh, my God! Somebody go check out bu for Buddy's ankles over there. <laughs> I think that was Kalon Barnes. Just got put on a clip. That was not Barnes, actually. I think that was Kirby Joseph, maybe. Dude, that was bad. That was really bad. Okay. Starting to move down the field here. I mean, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Juke's right into me. Then this guy has a really good running attack. I don't... It, it, are you really going to run this again? And we can't get a shed. And it's a touchdown. Dude, like 4-4. Four, four, and it, it... That's the one thing about our run front is just... We just don't have good block sheds. Which is surprising with big DJ Reader. He shed. He's just too damn slow. Hutch. Hutch! Oh, dive for it, Campbell. All right, on the board are the Chicago Bears with 106 here left in the third. Got Jamo. Fit it in. What a dot. Let's go, baby. Run play here. Jukes. Nine yards. Eight for 81. See if we can't get Gibbs another 100 yard game. Got Gibbs wide open in the flat. Hit a juke. Oh my God, it's filthy. Hit another juke. Gibbs is unbelievable. And Howell having finally over 200 yards, closing in on 250 here. Could have a chance to go for 300 passing yards for the first time since week one, I think. Left side here. We get blocks, we got blocks, we got blocks. Gibbs down to the three. Down to the three-yard line. Howell. <laughs> Down to the three. We're trying to... Damn, I thought we could get in there, maybe. No. It's, it's Laporta. Touchdown! Sam Laporta back in the end zone. Number two. He runs out with user over to the running back. We easily... We just... Quickly moved on to the next guy. It's what you got to do, man. You got to be fluid. Can't just look for one guy. And although we want to get Gibbs in the end zone on the goal line, he keeps getting tackled quite just short. Laporta gets his second, and Howell now with four passing touchdowns on the day. That's me, Chin, all over it, baby. User cookies get to the end zone. Two pick sixes for Jeremy Chin. Wow! I can't keep putting this guy on the thumbnail, boys. It would be his third appearance. Nobody lurks like death. I got crazy user, bro. And we're just hitting our stride here in week 10, dude. We're really starting to hit our stride with the user. And Chin is just clamps, dude. Yep. Play action. Oh, down to the running back there. Good read. Run. Oh, man. Oh, big tackle, Brian Branch. Intercepted by the new signing, Kalon Burns. Barnes, 97 speed. He gets hawked down. 97 speed against whatever Swift is. That's unbelievable he doesn't house that, bro. That's unbelievable he doesn't house that. But 97 speed, we just signed him. And he gets a pick. That's more than Emmanuel Mosley and Amik Robertson have done all freaking year, dude. Let's freaking go. Kalon Barnes could be developable, man. Is that a word? Developable? Gotta be. Again, it's Gibbs. 
Blocks from right. How? How? Every time? Are you kidding? I'm going to lose it. Can we really not get this guy in the damn end zone? There we go. Gibbs, touchdown. Finally. And he has another one. He's got to get a breakout soon, bro. He's got to. He's got to, but someone on our team has to get a breakout. The only breakout challenges we've got was Hutch after his eight sack week one. Didn't get in week two. And then X Factors are really hard, and we played Texans, who are, uh, who's a, Ev's a dog. And then we have got Jonah Ellis, which we didn't even get to play that game. So, like, someone else has got to get a breakout. We've been going crazy with this team. Well, that's... Kid's got some nasty jukes. Valkyrie's got some nasty jukes, bro. I, I, I'm going to say that, bro. Play action. So many guys open. He, able to make the throw on the run. Call to Davis. Way to work through a block. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. What a read. What a read. What a read. Oh, what a read. What a read. That's, is that going to be Kalon Barnes again? This guy's got to get a breakout. 97 speed, two picks. Two picks, and we're just going to run the ball to run the clock out. And Hutch should have had a sack there, but helps Kalon Barnes get another interception. We had seven picks on him last time. We played six this time. Get the outside handoff here. Turn up field. Gibbs almost crib shotted that. 52 to 6 is the final score, boys. We've been going crazy the last two weeks as we've now outscored our last two opponents 104 to 19, man. So big time numbers, and Howell had a big day. 153.9 passer rating, damn near perfect passer rating, which is 158.3, by the way. 13 to 18, 251, four touchdowns. Caleb Williams, 28.2, 10 to 21, 131, no touchdowns, six picks, man. He did make some some plays though, and he's a superstar, so he will develop, man. He's just, it, you know, he's he's gonna get much better. We're gonna have some really tight games in the future against these Bears. I know that much. All right, rushing Swift, 17 to 123, and a touchdown. He was good. But Gibbs was just a bit better. 15 for 119 and a touchdown as well. 7.9 versus 7.2. Howell, 2 for negative 6. Johnson, 1 for negative 3. Caleb Williams, 1 for 2. Receiving. Spread the ball around a lot. Amon Ross St. Brown, 5 for 54. Had two touchdowns. Cole Komet, 4 for 60. Uh, Sam Laporta, 3 for 73 and had two touchdowns as well. Dotson, 3 for 33. Uh, Swift, 2 for 25. Williams, 2 for 50. Um, Gibbs, 2 for 43. A.D. Mitchell, 1 for 31. Chark, 1 for 13. Carlton Davis <laughs> with the drop pick. Um, defensively was the story again, man. Our defense is just crazy. But Jonah Ellis actually had a sack. When did I miss that? I must have missed that. Jonah Ellis getting another sack to add to his tally. Montez Sweat gives us a sack. And then interceptions, Kalon Barnes, newly signed, 97 speed, gets two interceptions in the fourth quarter. One of them should have been cribbed. He got caught by DeAndre Swift. I'm not sure how, but what a start for this guy on the team, man. Would love to see a breakout for him in the future. You know, um, you just can't teach that kind of speed, man. You can't. So he's only 25, so he's got time. Chin, two picks, two pick sixes. You'll see over here, man, two pick sixes. Just unbelievable numbers from Jeremy Chin. This guy's a beast. And, I mean, I think the trade of Percy Butler and a second for Chin from the Commanders was absolutely worth it. This guy's going to be top three in interceptions in the league after this game. And, dude, should not be looking back. What a game for Chin. Ringo had a pick as well, as well as Brian Branch. So, Brian Branch, Chin were three user picks in this game. And then Ringo and Barnes, we just clicked on at the end. So half of our picks were user. I'll take that pretty damn good, man. So that is your final stats, boys. And 52 to 6, we go on to 9 and 0, heading into a big time matchup with the Titans next week. Let's go, baby. 17 coach points, boys. And we 
have a bunch of upgrades here. Holy smokes. J-Mo, Aiden Hutchinson, Gibbs, and Carlton Davis all getting upgrades here. So J-Mo Williams is the first one we will start with, man. Going up to what should be an 82. Hopefully, we're going to upgrade his deep threat. I want him to be better at running deep. He's 98 speed. Has to be. And he's going to get spec catch, medium route, deep route, catching, catch of traffic, and awareness. You know, he's amazing. And we need to utilize him much, much more. Um, I have to get in the lab and scheme up some more big shots to him. Now, Gibbs, deservedly so. He needs, needs to get a breakout challenge. I'll continue to say it, man. This guy will be 90 plus at the end of the season and even if he doesn't get a break a plus one excels unbelievable but if he doesn't get a breakout challenge he should get superstar in the offseason hopefully as you know honor is closing in on a thousand yards already um but not too many touches he's averaging a crazy amount of yards um per touch so crazy stuff for him aiden hutchinson gets in uh, why, why is the tutorial popping up i already know in Hutchinson gets an upgrade, man, and is going up to a 92 overall. I think we still just want to keep developing him as a speed rusher. Maybe power rusher would have been the move, but plus two finesse move, plus two pursuit. Now it goes up to 98 finesse move, bro. There's not going to be many tackles that he can't win against. And the Bears guy did a really good job of getting the football out quickly, I felt like. Um, you know, which resulted in some interceptions, uh, but he was able to make plays um, quickly, so Hutch wasn't able to get in. But Carlton Davis going up as well. We need him to be better in zone coverage. Doesn't get an overall boost, but does get plus two zone and plus one excel. That I will take as he goes up to 88 zone coverage now with uh, 91 excel. 88 speed sucks, though. So 82 jumping also sucks. So... You know, he's a good coverage guy, but athlete-wise, not really the best athlete. So, that is it, boys. GG's to Valkyrie, man. Great game, bro. And appreciate you so much, man, for being a part of the league, man. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Our new additions in Kalon Barnes and Kobe Durant. Kalon Barnes got on the field. He was slot corner two. So, he was opposite of Cooper DeGene in dollar. And he had two interceptions. So, hopefully we can get a breakout for him soon, man. But what a start for this new defensive back group. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Appreciate you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and drop a comment of, do you think we could continue to stay undefeated for the entire season, man? I'll catch you guys later. Appreciate you. Peace.